All my life, I have had the same dream. A beach, palms in the morning light, waves on the sand. I do not know this place or where to find it. Only that my destiny waits beyond the tide. Animals. These peasants should lick their fingers, for this will be their last taste of such riches. Not all of us were born into royalty, Admiral. I was raised one of these animals. Captain, it shows. The treasure fleet is a testament to our Emperor's genius. You know as well as I do that the Emperor is a pampered old fool. He should be more careful with his belongings. Ships vanish. Treasures never reach their destinations. Good thing we are here to prevent such tragedies. Believe what you want. Every time that boy opens his mouth, I want to fill it with my fist. What is your name, sailor? I am Lao Chen. A lifetime at sea has left me stinking of fish. If it floats, I have crewed it. Then tell me, what do you predict for our grand treasure fleet? The fleet will sail on to glory without question. But beware, Admiral. I am not the only one around here who stinks. vessels prowl the waters. Leave them be. For now. Say that again when you're picking wreckage off the seabed. What is the delay? The men are tired, Admiral. They cannot work with broken backs. They will work until the task is finished. Broken backs or not. Can we not give some of this work to the new sailors you hired? Those sailors are my concern. I know they are not sailors, Admiral. It is obvious that not one of them has ever set foot on a boat. They are mercenaries, scoundrels, and should be boiled in their own juices. Silence! It would be wise for you to remember who commands this fleet. Ah! This is your mess, Wang. Clean it up at once! The fleet is under attack. We must hurry and finish building the flagship before we can sail. Captain, I have more bad news. The pirates have captured our docks to the west. Something must be done. I am impressed, Captain. You execute pirates like a seasoned sailor. I find no pleasure in it. Now come, we must finish the fleet and set out to sea. I have already had my fill of crowded ports and foreigners. I crave conquest. I crave glory. Some men work their whole lives to see such sights, Admiral. True. Commoners are easily impressed. That is what separates rabble like you from men like me. Now step aside. Royalty expects to be greeted by their own. Watch him closely, Captain. Jin Hai may be venomous. But he is not capable of betrayal. Because he is too stupid. Because he is a coward. The Zamachran wishes you welcome, Admiral. All preparations have been made. Excellent. It has been too long since we received news from the Admiral. I am growing worried. 
You should be worried about us, Captain. Those approaching warriors have murder in their eyes. Run, Chen. We have been betrayed. Our only hope is to escape with the ships. By betraying us, the Zematrin has sealed his fate. Prepare the ships for a raid on the northern beach. Vengeance will be ours. We must hurry. All this time on land is making me seasick. Too far. I am surprised to see you, Huang. I did not believe you had the intelligence to mount a successful rescue. Now finish this little escapade so the fleet can sail on. I will leave this Zematron to you. That will teach the Zamutrin to take what does not belong to him. Let us get back out to sea before our good fortune turns. Gulls fill the sky. The sea goddess must watch over us. I wish I shared your faith, Chen. We have sailed west for weeks, with no sign of land. One cannot sail too far without hitting something, Captain. It is not the sea I fear, it is the Admiral. He appears to be connected to all our misfortunes. The Indian raiders did speak of being paid to fight by one of our crew. Even now, he leads our fleet off the charts into the unknown. The Admiral has always plotted his own course. Yes, Chen. But where is he going? Wherever he leads us, it appears we will brave a storm before our arrival. Like the birds, it is an omen, but a bad one. That is the last time I pray to the Sea Goddess. What is this place? This strange land is on no map, I know. Where we are is a mystery for another time. The fleet has been scattered along the coast. We must locate our ships and any surviving crew. You do that, Huang. I will remain here in case you require reinforcements. Natives and hostile ones, they act as though we wanted to crash upon this cursed rock. I have had enough. Strangers or not, we have done nothing to these hostiles. We are going to finish this little war before it truly begins. Now that we've rescued our men, they will clear us a path back to camp. It is pathetic. Even at the edge of the world, men still murder each other for power. Speaking of pathetic, have you seen the Admiral? Our commander has vanished. I fear he was captured with the others. Huh, not to worry. There will always be another Admiral where he came from. Perhaps it is as you said before, and Jin Hai has taken his own path. If so, he is now at the mercy of the wilderness. Can we leave this cursed rock then? No. Prepare a rescue party. The hostiles captured many of our companions, 
and we must find them before nightfall. I think finding them will be easier than you expect. I have spotted our captured companions, but the enemy are too many. This is not the time for cowardice. Our companions depend on us to rescue them before they reach the hostel's camp. The village is under our control, and the hostels have disbanded, but I still see no sign of the Admiral. The city is deserted. Not deserted. The villagers are in hiding. Hiding? From what? I never thought you would stoop to something as common as mutiny, Jinhai. It is not mutiny when you are the Admiral. You hoped to plunder the riches of the fleet in India. Only you were defeated by a lowly crew of peasants and sailors. I will not make that mistake twice! You may not be as cowardly as I predicted, but you are much more foolish. The Emperor will hear of your treachery. In this world, I am the Emperor! Then your empire ends here. We will move undetected through these caves. Once we reach the northern beaches, we can begin to rebuild our army. I said it from the beginning. That traitorous admiral gives sailors a bad name. You think you have defeated me, but you are mistaken. This is only the beginning of my reign. In the next life, perhaps, but not. Set a course for home, Chen. We sail due east. Finally, I have been finding sand in many unwanted places. It is a pity that a man born of such extraordinary means had to die such an ordinary death. Decisions make a man great, Captain. Not family. Not wealth. Then I am glad you have been there to guide me, Chen. Give me no credit. I simply follow where the bottle leads me. Have you done as I asked? We have scoured the beaches for all evidence of our presence. Good. It is time the treasure fleet moved on to calmer waters. Home. Hopefully. No one will even know we were here. <laughs>